Brilliant. So, Danny, first of all, um, might as well just talk about the reception you just got. Yeah. Press conferences don't usually come like that. Have you ever, ever had a press conference where you've been cheered in by a bunch of school kids like that? No, it's pretty unique. I've actually been to this school before, I think, after we won the National League. Uh, Nikki and I and Alan Long come, did kind of a tour of school, the schools and we took the trophy around. And so I remember being here maybe a couple of years ago. But no, it's a, it's a lovely school and very well behaved pupils and a little bit nervous of the questions we're about to ask, but I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, we'll get to matters on the pitch first of all. But talking about community outreach, how, is in, how important is it? For not just yourself, but also a club like Lincoln City to get out into the local community and meet a lot of the young fans that are out there. Oh, I think it's really important. You know, obviously, winning on a on a Saturday is is ultimately what our job is. But for us, that's that's only part of it. And you know, we we hope that by having a, a successful football team and a successful football club, that gives us the opportunity to be able to reach out to to the local community. Um, you know, hopefully, in terms of the way we behave and conduct ourselves, we can be a role model for the for the young people. Um, you know, I've been lucky enough to to be here now for for just over two and a half years, and the um, the people have just been fantastic. Their support has been unconditional, and you know, for me, relationships and partnerships are always a two way thing. And you know, they've they've given up the, the people of Lincoln have given us an awful lot, and um, it's very important that we that we reciprocate and, and give back and. You know, it, it was uh, it was when we first arrived. It was it was very important that we tried to make Lincoln City cool again, um, particularly with the young people. And you know, it's great to see just looking in front of me how many Lincoln City shirts there are and how many how many people are behind the club. Because I don't think we would we would be able to achieve what we want to achieve without everybody contributing. Yeah, I think right. So Lee, um, first of all, how weird is it to be sitting here? Former, former pupil of the school in front of uh, you know a lot of people for this press conference right now. Yeah, it was very surreal walking through that front door. Um, I think I was talking to Mr Hughes over there when I first came in and it must be 20 years since I've been here and walking through this door and it just reminded me of us sat there on the floor in assemblies all them years ago. So yeah, it's really good to be back and I can't wait to have a look around. Yeah, tw 20 years, as you say, since you were last here. Um, what, what are your memories of the school and what was it like being a pupil? I really enjoyed my time here. Um, I think I enjoyed school in general and this was always a, a great school for me. Obviously it was the only one I attended, so it was all I could compare it to, but I had a great time here, great teachers, great facilities and um, yeah, I look back with these with fond memories. Yeah, has it changed much? Uh, there was a courtyard in the middle, um, <laughs> that's now been knocked down and other buildings put in there, but I haven't had a chance to look around yet, but I'm sure I'll get to do that. Yeah, we've uh, seen some of your photographs from what obviously you were part of the football team here um what was it like being a part of that school team and and what how did that differ as well from, from being a professional football do you think how did school football differ yeah. to professional football um I think when you're young, you play football for the love of it. There's, there's no pressure and, and you play football because you want to do it and you enjoy doing it. And we were fortunate here that we had a supportive teacher, Mr Hughes, who, who encouraged us to play football and we had a football team all the way through. And I managed to get in it in year four, so I had three years playing that. Whereas some schools don't always have the football team. I know that some schools in, in the county now don't have football teams and I think that's sad because most young boys here would want to experience playing football and I was fortunate to do that here. Yeah, and do you think, obviously, you know, you being here, obviously captain of Lincoln City, your hometown club, uh, in your second spell as well, a lot of kids here will see you as an inspiration. How does that feel? Yeah, I hope it would because if I was in their position, I was sat there, I would be, I'd be excited for a Lincoln City football player to come through the door here because ultimately I was sat there wanting to be a professional footballer and and hopefully what we're doing at the moment and the, the amount of kids that were getting involved with the football club can only be a good thing and who knows, somebody here may be sat around one day hopefully. Well, I hate watching football. Um, I've wanted to play football ever since I was a kid so when you're sat on the sidelines watching, it's frustrating but ultimately I'm experienced enough to know that Lincoln City Football Club's not about me. It's about everybody involved with it. So when I'm not playing, I'll be the first person jumping up and down when we score and excited when we win because at the end of the day, I'm a fan and, and I'm desperate for us to do well.